Wow, wow, wow. This is the best news from CP, my, my second best friend or mate. Well, he knows we've got a dream. He knows I've got a dream. And that dream was ruined by the shadow. Well, he said he smoothed things over, paid a few people off and cleared the path for us to fulfill our dream. Just like the famous singer Gabrielle once said, dreams can come true, my friend. And they could be coming true right now. I've got an interview at a fantastic club in a place I have always wanted to go to. And you, you love it there. No, we're not going to Manchester, Man United. Although that is possibly the greatest city and greatest club in the world. No. After that, what's after that? Yep, you've got it. Absolute dream. All that negative press. Too much pressure for poor, poor boot. That bottle job was magnificent. And now the journeyman can never go home. So, let's let him have his last dream. Because the end game is upon us. Hello, I'm Boot, and welcome to episode 15 of The Road to Anywhere. As always, thanks for joining me. You know I appreciate it. Make sure you help me fight the algorithm and support me and the channel. You know what to do by now. Hit that thumbs up, get involved in the comments. I always get back to them eventually. And subscribe if you're new, if you haven't already. Hit the bell as well. Why not? Come on. And you'll never miss anything I do. Like the latest trip on The Road to Anywhere my new adventure, something I've wanted to do for ages. Now, I nearly started this series in Japan, and then I do have a friend who's helping me. You'll find out later at the end of the series. You know, with little ideas and stuff, he's, he's a very good guy, very creative. Um, and then we came up with the Go to Jamaica idea, which was a bit random. Um, but I thought I'd get to Japan eventually, and I've kind of wrote into the story. Um, I couldn't get there. But initially, there was a couple of jobs, early doors in my career, I went for two and I didn't get them. I wasn't good enough. And then I kind of joked that <laughs> I couldn't get to Japan. Now I kind of gave up on it a bit and I'd switch leagues on and off depending on where I am. And I'd switch the Jap Japanese leagues off um, until this last World Cup year with England. I thought I'm going to give it one more shot. Let's see if anything comes up. And I turned Japan, the Japan leagues back on, which kick in in January. Um, and then I've holidayed since I resigned from England and I waited because, you know, you turn a league on, there's some jobs come up sometimes and there were two jobs available. Now, straight away, I went for the, is it Kobe? I went for that job. But it says the process is already finished, which confused me a little bit. Um, but the Nagoya job wasn't and I applied for it and apparently I was a leading candidate. Here I am now, the new manager of Nagoya Grampus or... Rampers 8. I don't think they call themselves that too much these days, even though it's still on the logo. A club Arsenal fans may have heard of, most of you may have, because it was the team that Arsene Wenger was at before he went to Arsenal. Now it's me and I'm here and I am proper buzzing for this because obviously over the years, Japan has not been a playable league. You could probably download it like you can with a lot of leagues and a lot of leagues I've used on this series, but it's never really worked that well. And the fact that it's an official league with all the proper logos and kits and it works properly but it's made by the actual game excites me because on the road to anywhere a while ago I did a lot of Asia was it two series ago um, Malaysia Indonesia we did Korea China never got to Japan so I'm really excited for this because yeah like I said I nearly started the series here so I've got a job a mid-level team at the minute um, which I'm really excited about Founded in 1991, so when Arsene Wenger went there, if that's true, they're only a couple of years old. So over the last, what, 10 or 15 years, they've had a second place finish and a third place finish. They've been a bit yo-yo since then. I'm hoping we can change that around because um, this is a good size club with, you know, a lot of um, promise. And like I always say, sometimes teams like this just need that human touch, that sprinkle of sabood, <laughs> sabood. <laughs> Sabood magic. So history-wise, um, they've got two Super Cups. Uh, the Levain Cup, which 
um, starts first, and I think that's like their League Cup really, because it's got a lower reputation than the Emperor's Cup, which starts later in the season, and um, which they've got two of. And one of them, I think, is Wingers. And they have won the J1 League once, which looks like the Bundesliga trophy to me, doesn't it? Facility-wise, we're in the imaginatively named Nagoya Stadium. It's a brand new stadium that was built in-game in 2029. So I found myself a cheeky little graphic. So let's pretend that this is what it looks like. It's a 44, nearly 45,000 all-seater owned by the club. We've got good training, good youth and good sponsorship for the stadium. Now you might have noticed it is the 2nd of March and I've got a ton of notes. I've been, I've been to work here um, and I managed to sell quite a few players. A bit of Deadwood, a few youngsters, get lots of offers in. Um, and at this stage, I've recouped in about seven and a half million, right? But I think I make another million just because clubs keep coming in from around Japan. 200 grand for like bang average youth players. And I'm like, right, I'm, I'm going to get rid of them because I want to build my own team. Um, and I spend about three and a half. Now, my notes say I end up with a 29-man squad and I'll explain the squad rules in a second. Um, I keep 13 original first-teamers. I bring in 11 players on a free uh, and assign five players for a combined 3.4 mil. Now, this is the staff, right? And it looks great, doesn't it? It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. As always, I have completely stripped it. I had to keep the director. It's one of the, the things I had to agree to in the interview, but... What I want to do this year, and I've got a whole page, I'm not going to show it you, you can never read it when I look on the screen. Um, and not, I always do the first team, and sometimes I'll do bits with the reserves and the youth. Um, but over this season, I'm going to expand this, but I'm also going to make the reserves amazing, and the under-18s amazing. I want to build this club up from the ground up. Of course, I've played a couple of games, I'll share that with you again in a second, and we're currently second, which is great. We we'll stay there, we'll see. Um, but like you see, we're in the J1 League. It's got 20 teams, 38 games, just like the Premier League. It's super, super competitive and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Best Asian league I've ever played in this. So the rules of the league. And the first thing I noticed was the prize money is pretty pathetic. It is in the league, it is in the cup. Don't know where the money's going to come from. Um, I have plans for that, which I might discuss later on. Um, like I said, 20 teams, you play each other three times. Um, everything seems pretty sweet. Uh, goal difference sorting in the league, which is good. Uh, now, when it comes to the squad, you could have as many foreigners as you want, right? But you can only have five in your match day squad. So I've just gone for five because we had none. So it's like a clean slate and all the five I've brought in were free signings. Um, obviously, I've got quite a bit of knowledge, especially in South America. Um, but yeah, so that's, pr that's pretty much it, really. You need, um, you need certain players, I think, is it four? Yeah, trained at the club for three years. Um, you can have a bigger squad if you're in continental football, you might have noticed that as well. But yeah, that five foreigner rule, yeah, you've got to be clever with that. And I might have to change that next year. But there are some big, big teams. Now, I know a few of them, but I don't know all of them. And it was, like always with these kind of series, it's a learning process. You have to learn about teams. Um, obviously, some of these stadiums have probably been built in game, but there's some massive capacities. And some fantastic clubs and kits and all that. I love it. Honestly, I've really enjoyed it. And I recommend, if you haven't, I know the game's old now. Um, you might not have tried it yet. Give Japan a go. Japan was 16th in the world. And when I looked at their first team, it's next level, right? Because Japan has been running quite a lot of this series. They only turned it off a few years ago and then obviously just turned it back on. Not one of them plays in Japan. So my plan here is scout the national teams scout all the under 16 Japanese players scout all the young Japanese players and scout all the good Japanese players that are interested scout Brazil scout Argentina scout all the countries I've been to all the leagues I've got running because I want to make sure that even though I've signed five free players when it comes to end of the year some of them don't perform maybe I can cash in on them because they're the kind of positions and five spots I need to maximise and get the best I can Brazilian superstars and all that if I can for the level we're at um, but I just want as much knowledge as possible build the youth team find good freebies and kick, kick this club on because this could be my last club it could you know what I mean two three years here and then I'll see how the series is going how I feel because you know views are drop, drip, dropping off which is fine um, but I'll just see how I feel so like I said I've got a 29 man squad there 29 I've got you know an A team a B team and then bloody one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra players just because if a player is under 21, they don't have to be registered. So it is, I wanted the biggest squad possible, even though I'm not in continental football. I wanted to be okay with that and we could afford it for now. 
Um, so I can't go through all 29. Obviously, I've got rid of some that you wouldn't have ever heard of. Regens, anyway. Who cares about that? So I think I might just try showing me main 11 and a few extras. This is my number one keeper, and the names are going to kill me. So you can read it for yourself. He's 27 years old, never played for his country, and there are a lot of good keepers out there. That is my list. I have a little separate paragraph there called my second season needs, right? And it's a goalkeeper, two left backs, a right back and a defender, a centre half. It's all about defence. Um, and that was before the season started. So they're the kind of positions I want to build before I look at anywhere else in the team. Now he's not technically a right back, but he can play there. He's more of a centre half, but he is kind of the number one right back. One of my three signings and one of my foreign signings is 26 year old Brazilian Fabreo. I think it's brilliant. Six foot, could be a bit taller. His main partner for the season will be this lad who I signed for half a million quid. Half a million quid, bargain. My left back is Kazuya. Um, decent player. He's also the captain because of his leadership, teamwork and work rate. In the middle, it's Daniel, another Brazilian, 24, signed on a free. Now, obviously, he takes up a foreigner spot. He looks pretty good. He's okay. But he's kind of the kind of player I'm thinking, you know, sign him on a free. If I can get three, four million from him in the summer and then sign another player a bit better than him on a free, that's kind of business I want to do. Now, I have got a few decent players at the front. That's why I want to work on the defence. Um, but Kane is a good player. They don't always play here. I've got midfielders who can switch. But I like him because he's got a lot of potential. He's young and I paid money for him. <laughs> 1.5 million. And then I have this chap, another Brazilian. Hence the reason Brazilians like to come here. There's some good ones. I'm scouting the hell out of Brazil. I've gone through every squad scouting it. Done the same in Argentina. Took a while, but it'll, hopefully it'll pay off. Um, but Mr. Carrera... He's awesome. He gets better as the season goes on. His attributes get better. He's only 21 years old. I mean, I'd like to keep him because of how good he becomes. But he could also, you know, he has a lot of money. Juan Jimenez, right? Initially looked at him. It's one of my scouts. Colombian. I thought he'd be a great striker, but he ends up playing mainly on the right. And he's a great player. And then my main left winger is Silvio Suarez. Again, foreign. Again, free. 29, Colombian. Possibly someone I could maybe cash in on and hopefully replace with someone better, but we'll see. And then my main strike is going to be Ishii, who is only three stars. He's not worth a lot of money. He's 24 years old, never played for his country. Um, I think he must have been generated when I turned the league on. He's only ever played when I've played him. But um, I quite liked him. He's got a bit of pace. He's a bit of a slow start, but turns into someone I like a lot. Other notable players is Naka. Who has spent 975 grand on Yoshida? Who has spent 325 grand on? He's all right. And we've got Takuma Sakuma, who was signed on a free. Like I said, there's loads of them. Some all right ones, to be fair. That's the main gist of the team. But what can this team do? Wait one moment. Wait one moment. How can I forget? He was already here. He's been here a while. That name. I don't want to try and say it because I'd probably get banned off YouTube. His second name, it's like, you know, when you've, you know, you're making sweet love with the missus and it's brilliant. She's like, I want to go again. And you say, yeah, I want to. That's what it makes me think. When it comes to the bookies, they've got us in seventh. We were 10th. So, you know, we've improved the team a little bit. Um, and, you know, 17 players in. Like I said, a lot of players. Send a lot of freebies. Send a few kids for the youth team. Because there was just a lot of players floating about on a free. So I was like, snatch, 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 snatch. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Do you know what you do? Um, but there's so much work to do. I can't wait. So then the J League Cup is about to start. But of course, we played a few friendlies. Um, I let my assistant, my new assistant, um, sort them out. And then we kicked off the J League. Started off with a defeat. And then I've won three games on the bounce. And of course, we're second. But will we stay there? It, honestly, it's quite a tough competitive league. And it's my kind of favourite league when it's... It's not a runaway team. There's like seven, eight teams that can just win on the day. Have you seen who got my job at England? I hope he fails. Well, he's going to go win everything now in here, arsehole. He'll win in the World Cup. Well, let's jump forward now. Let's go right into this. It's the 12th of June, roughly the halfway stage. And you can see we are in six. Draw a lot of games. There's a lot of close games we've been involved in. Only lost three and I've won 10. But I'm not far off. It's at seven points off the top of the league. So these are all the results and you can see, look, after them three wins, we lost. Then we drew a couple. Then we won. And that's the thing. <laughs> you can go up against some teams 
and batter him and then you get beat off him. I love that. I love how competitive it is. And I love it because I am nowhere near done. I'm in the building process. I'm planning for a year or two ahead. Um, so that, that's what excites me. And um, we got beat off Cash Hima, who have a good team. Come up against them a few times. And then I've not been beaten. Look at that. But look at all the draws. It was a squad range by average rating. And Suarez is at the top and he, he's okay, right? He is pretty decent, but he's probably someone, if I can find someone better, I'd cash in on. Um, Sato, how did I get Sato now on a free? He's moaning, <clears throat> um, but he's like a striker, right winger. Mr. Carrera is a baller, absolute baller. But here he is, Mr. Ishii. 11 goals in 21 games, which is pretty decent return. But I think he just comes stronger towards the end of the season. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the team. But who we are and where we're at. We're not, I'm not thinking we're going to win anything. It's, just, it's a building process, isn't it? But it's fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I did most of this in a day. Just, I was off. I got, and some of you might have even noticed, I think I, I put a post out on my community tab yet. Yeah, it was like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., playing FM. <laughs> and that was it all day. So then when it comes to scouting, like I said, I am scouting the hell out of everything. Um, like I improved my scouting team. The, the numbers increased to help me out, but I'm working them to the bone. And you can see, look, Japan, Argentina, Brazil, they were my first port of call and uh, uh, around a few of different places, obviously different aid groups, mainly a lot of Japan. The um, national teams, I keep checking in them in case I missed anyone. Um, and if they're white, I scout them. Um, I just want to get tons and tons of knowledge on players and make this team a force because the dream's got to be some kind of Champions League. It's something I've not got anywhere near properly. Right then, we're getting right into it. It's the 4th of December and we finished second, which is great, isn't it? All right? That's fantastic. Only because of a late flurry, a late splurge, a late run of excellent results. We probably spent two thirds of the season in sixth, just dipping into fifth, dipping into fourth. But when look, look at the points. Um, we're on 76. I'm only three points off a bloody title in my first year. Um, five points clear of Osaka, uh, Kashima, who we come up against a few times. It's all close. It's very close. And it was all, it was really close. But I will say, some of them teams like Kashima are in the Champions League. So while I've been playing a league game and maybe a cup game here or there, when I looked at their schedules, they've like run packed with Champions League. So they got a lot more on their on their plate. So, you know, got to take advantage, don't you, this first year. I think a lot of it as well is, um, we have had injuries in fitness, but a lot of it is, you know, over time, the players do get used to your tactic. They have link ups. They start play better. You start to know your players better, or what they can do, who to pick. Um, and I've just really gone for it in the league. I've reversed the dates here, but look at the end of that season. I mean, look at that game. That game was a killer. Was that the game I was winning? Where's it? There's a game. Is that the one I was winning? But yeah, they scored in the fifth. And I scored. Then I scored. Then I. Yeah, that was it. They went 1 0 up, went 3 1, and then they just boomed me at the end. <laughs> Very disappointing. And then the following game, it was 4 3 again, but the opposite way. But it was that run towards the end of the season especially with the last game of the season when a lot of my squad went off for internationals at different levels. And I was like, great. And I had to play some youth players, Nagata, who's up front. Um, is it Nakagome? A couple of others, right? I, I, I wasn't holding up much hope and we did concede three. Well, I scored seven. So that's a positive thing because I've got some decent youth players. What about the J-League Cup? The League Cup, I call it. That's why I see it as... Uh, where well, we got all the way to the quarterfinals, as you can see, where we got beaten by Kashima. Great. Uh, started off a bit meh. Um, and it's a, it's a long one. It's all two-legged. First round, two-legged. In the second round, it's two-legged. Beat the team that didn't give me a sniff of an interview. Um, then we beat... <laughs> Some of these names, you, it sounds like you want to swear, doesn't it? Fuck you or Koa or whatever. I know that's not what it is, but that's what it sounds like. The league's run out and you knocked out the League Cup. What life come have we got? Well, we're in the Emperor's Cup final against Kashima. You have beat me in the league and knocked me out of the League Cup, but you know, it's okay. Um, yeah, so this one's a bit normal. Second round, third round, what a game, by the way. Uh, fourth round, 4-0. Four Chiba are in the J2 League. I've got that running as well. 
I mean, a B team that I took a gamble with that. Um, bloody hell, I swear to God. Uh, and then Yokohama FC 3-0. And now we've got to face them. And look at their schedule. They got all the way to the J League final, which they won against Tokyo 3-1. They're playing all these Champions League games. They've still got a Champions League game before the cup final, which I'm hoping they injure some of their star players. Um, but at the end of the league, two the Emperor's Cup final. We had a 28 day break, which is why I decided just over a week before to play Brian Kane, rest in peace, Brian, favorite team. Rangers were just available, so I thought, why not? Yeah, got beat. A lot of 17 year olds in that team. Still, Rangers are a massive team, aren't they? Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. It was all yellow anyway, but look how the numbers, you might not know this, but it's more physio scouts, coaches. But it's this that I've really gone to town on. Look at my reserve staff. I've improved that. More coaches, more physios. It's amazing. And my under 18s, more coaches, more physios, and really good ones too. And I'm spending money on this. Some good wages, which maybe don't help the bank balance, but it's going to help the players. Quick look at the squad arranged by average rating before the Emperor's Cup final, which is apparently the highest repped cup competition in all of Asia. Now, I had Saudi Arabia on for years as well in case that was an opportunity for me to go down on the road to anywhere. I turned that off. I've turned that back on. That kicks in next year because I want more competition. Here's the squad. Um, obviously, we've got Daniel injured. I might look to move him on, you know. If we can get a five, four or five million for him, I'd be happy. Um, I think most people are right. Jimenez is carrying a knock, which is a big loss. The main right winger, the, uh, the Colombian. Um, but I still think we can do well. They have a good team. They knocked me out of the cup, they beat me in the league. We need a cup performance for the Emperor. So welcome to the Japan National Stadium for the Emperor's Cup Final, the most prestigious cup in all of Asia. We're getting the Champions League, super excited. Feel the pressure, they're a very good team who can beat us and beat us more often than not. But you know what? You never know in a cup final. And I'm super excited for this, man. Super, super excited. Come on. So, yeah, it's great to be here. Finally get to Japan. Um, and it's just like I said, it's exciting. Me. It's a super fun league, super competitive. I've been really proud of the work I've done. Like it, I don't normally do a lot of player training, but I've gone into a bit more detail. Don't take over fully. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll work on a player for a month and I'll make a note and I might work on them again the next month try and um, work on certain aspects of their game. Oh. 54 seconds in and my best player is injured. Well, that's a massive kick in the balls. Let's face it. It is, isn't it? Um, I brought Terra Oka on. He's a bit of a defensive midfield and switched in with Suzuki. He's a bit more attacking. Brilliant. And I totally forgot what I was talking about. That's thrown me right off. Seriously. That, that was a game plan, wasn't it? Take him out straight away. Is it the FA Cup with Wimbledon and Liverpool with Vinnie Jones? Didn't he have a, an order like that? As soon as it kicks off, he does one hours it for someone and cripples them. So yeah, um, I've just dropped him some encouragement. <laughs> they might need it. Just lost an absolute baller on the pitch. Um, but I can't remember what I was talking about. But really, I just really, I'm really excited to, to work on this team and take them into the Champions League and, and try. I want to win a trophy. It'd be great to win this first season, pick up some silverware and build that foundation of winning, that winning mentality. Um, but we're uphill task here and I'll tell you we've we've performed at times when I didn't think we would and then this you know times when I thought we'd do well and we, should, when we were expected to do well and we didn't but over the course of the season it don't lie we finished second we finished above these but they've had a lot more football to play and here's Val 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 looking dangerous now I can't exactly remember his name and I'm hoping I'll find him again but he's a great keeper who I could have afforded at the time and I'm hoping I can again who the club accepted a bid for because they had like they had a foreign keeper, I think, who was really good. Japanese goalie, who's way better than mine. But he said we weren't at the level. So when he got to the contract stage, he said, no, we're not, you're not at the level I want to be at. So and I should have wrote his name down and I forgot. I reckon I'll find him again. Because he was really good. I'm hoping that's a player I can sign. Really work on that defence for the Champions League. And to put up a good title challenge, because three points ain't bad. I don't think. We'll see. Come on, lads. Suzuki. We are missing some big ballers here. Jimenez and Carrera. Big, big losses. Right, come on. Here's Suarez. Come on, Suarez. Charging forward. Looks like Ganaccio and uh, 
Oh, go, go, go! There he is. Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? I don't know if you noticed, by the way. We'll jump out. Won the golden boot by five goals. That's what I mean. He had a slow start. I'm thinking, he's all right. We need to find a striker. And then he just got mint at the end of the season. Woohoo! It's 1-0. I've got this little, you know, my team's not perfect. It's not the team I wanted to put on that pitch. And I've lost a superstar. And we've had one shot on target and we scored it. RXG is pathetic, but so's theirs. Thank you, as always, for sticking with the series. For hitting that thumbs up, because I know you've done it already. Drop that comment. Um, if you're not English, I suppose you're happy that the, the England era is over. But it's just something I had to do. I liked it. Um, that World Cup was massively disappointing. Still is. I didn't know. You're not going to thinking I'm going to win it because we won the Euros, but I get a bit further. <laughs> Further than that, but I swear to God, and I've said this in a few comments, replying to you guys that, you know, when you're watching the 3D games, watching that Portugal team in that game, that's probably the best I've seen a team play. Whatever they were doing, the ballers and the players they had, some of the football was fucking brilliant. I've never seen anything like it. Come on, Fabreo into Suzuki. Good little player. Find Suarez. Straight to the captain. Oh, 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 he's crippled him. Brilliant. Crip on my best player, Crip on my captain. He might be going off, he's on a yellow. Go on, send him off, get off! But yeah, like I always say as well, I can't wait to get to the end. Because once I've got to the end, I can start editing, obviously, but I can start also playing in the free time I've got. I've got loads of free time coming off soon, so... Yeah, I'm hoping we can wrap this series up in style with this possibly my last team. I'd love to do three years here, I've got to focus. We'll see how we're doing in, in um, the Champions League. Are we, can we turn them into a team that can realistically win it? And we'll go for that. Um, and then I'll see how I feel. Well, there you go. I am absolutely buzzing with that because we lost my best player, because I didn't have Jimenez. We finished that season really strong. They've come together as a team. You know what I mean? I've had to patch it together. We've come up against a team that knocked us out of the league cup, beat us in the league. A strong, strong side who could go on and win the Champions League. And here we are. Hey, eh? is scrappy. We've got a goal. They went down 10 men. Yeah. Start, starting off your career, your first season with a trophy is always a good place to start good foundation that winning mentality man I'll tell you what though there's no awards there's no awards Sam um, I'm not seeing any come up so there mustn't be any awards surely because this is an official league uh, which is a bit disappointing because it would be nice to see if I could have uh, been with the shots of getting a manager of the year or some of my players but it was good that I've got the leading goal scorer Suarez talking about selling him and look at him and we only got about 900 grand for winning that cup I paid out more in bonuses for winning it so yeah I'm going to have to sell well, I can't wait to get to work. I will put it together. I will improve this team and those finances. And of course, the Champions League is like halfway through. So we can't find out who've won him. Hopefully I can remember and share that with you in the next episode. Let's see if a Japanese team can do it. Let's see who the daddies of Asia are. I'm guessing it's going to be the Saudis. For now, let's just enjoy the fact that we have won a major trophy. And there's a lot of positives in this squad of mine. And I'm very excited for the future. Not just of the series, but of this little save with this club. And I can't wait to get into some Champions League football next year. Hopefully episode 16 will be a cracker and you won't go missing and you come back for it. But for now, show me some support. Love me long time. Like, I love you from the bottom. Seriously. You and me, mate. I love you long time. Smash the thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new and hit the bell. And you will never miss anything that I do. Right. I'll see you. Can't wait. Honestly, can you tell I'm a little bit excited for this? I'm enjoying myself and that's what it's all about. Enjoy yourself when you play football manager. You stay happy, you stay safe. I'll see you next time. Look at the place CP has got for us. This is fantastic. This is super slick. High end living and we deserve this. We have had such a tough time at moments in our career, mate. I think the dark days are behind us. The shadow tried to ruin our Japanese dream, but CP smoothed it over. He can't touch us. He can't touch us. And we've had a season and a half. We won a trophy. Your comp placement. I've said this a million times, but it was on another planet. That OBE, mate, hey, you need to put that in the bin and make you, sir, see CPO. All right, I think we enjoy ourselves. Let's book a holiday, relax, and then get planning. Get that pad to work and get a team together that can compete in the Champions League and even challenge for a title. I've never been happier. Never have I ever been happier than this.